Hi, my name is Alexa Ginn, and I am a student educator intern here at the Museum of Art. Right now, we are in the exhibit across the west and towards the north, Norwegian American landscape photography. I'd like to talk about this photograph by Knud Knudsen. Um, Knudsen was one of the first Norwegian photographers of his time. Originally, he was studying biology like his father, specifically pomology, which is the study of fruits, but he came back from his studies with a passion for photography. And photography was a new thing at this time in the 1860s. Um, so there was a lot of excitement around new photographs because it was the real thing. It wasn't just an artist's interpretation but as it had been before. So people were really excited to see new photographs. In this photo, um, Knudsen chooses to include his darkroom tent and his assistants. The darkroom tent was one of the pieces of equipment needed to take photos at this time. This is where he would put all of his chemicals and develop the photos. Um, taking photos at this time was a lot of hard work. You had to carry all the chemicals with you, you had to carry a glass plate for each photo you took, and on top of that, the camera itself was really big and clunky, so it was heavy as well. By including the darkroom tent in this photo, Knudsen is showing that this was a labor of love and that it took a lot of work to take these photos. Despite having the darkroom tent in this photo, it's not the focal point. The focal point is very much still about the landscape. You can see the Björbing glacier that's spilling over the mountain and down towards the house and it is a really amazing thing to see. The mountains in the background create a really immersive experience that makes it feel like you're walking through the Norwegian fjords yourself. And this immersion was a really important thing to Norwegians at the time. They had just barely declared independence from Denmark in 1814, which was only 50 years before Knudsen was taking photographs. Norwegians were still figuring out what it meant to be Norwegian, and having these photographs become prominent to the public consciousness really helped solidify what Norway was. People were proud of their immense glaciers and beautiful waterfalls that made Norway unique. This Norwegian national pride um, really was the starting point of this idea called Allemensretten, which is every man's right. This was an idea that will not fully be developed for another hundred years, but it suggests that every man has the right to be on uncultivated land. Today that means that you can go into the forest and camp and pick the berries without anyone telling you not to, as long as you're respecting the land. These photographers respected the land by exploring and taking photographs and recording what they found for other people to see. I hope that you can find what they found in the landscape when you visit.